Guys, this is a banger. Can we just... This song doesn't get played in enough intros, alright? So, I'm going to start the intro off with that. It's, uh, I don't know how to edit videos, I don't know how to make them. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe. Um, my YouTube channel is very experimental. I really just do what I want. And so y'all can just follow along while I do what I want. Um, so today I want to talk about Berserk. Uh, big stuff got revealed about 364, you know, I mean, it came out, essentially, um, translated and everything. Berserk is a manga that means a lot to my heart and means a lot to a lot of people, too. I know that it's cliche to be like, oh, stories are so, uh, this story changed my life, it changed the way I see things, but I think that, um... In everybody's life, they get a couple stories. Not just one, they get a couple, um, or at least chances at a couple stories that can really affect them. And I think that uh, Berserk um, affects a lot of people and does it in a super positive way. You know, I think that Berserk has this overarching theme <clears throat> of uh, fighting all odds, um, but holding on to, like, hope. Not, like, fighting all odds for like some sort of toxic reason like ho holding on to hope for positivity and fighting evil uh, really no matter what and uh, you know I just wanted to turn that down a little but I gosh I love that song but really guys I, I really just truly think that this um, manga is a beautiful piece of work okay so when we talk about people like you know Ernest Hemingway when we talk about like Benjamin Franklin like really intelligent authors who are like uh, quoted in schools today stuff like that it's like you know I'm in college right now and I don't think that my professors could even recognize how good this story is um, I think that a lot of people honestly sleep on Berserk, and I know that that might sound weird because uh, the fan base is huge and there's a lot of people who are into it, um, but <clears throat> uh, for some reason whenever I get into manga conversations and anime conversations and that kind of stuff with people I know, it seems like Berserk has always got slept on, so it might just be me, but I feel like it's slept on. Um, also... You know, I love how, like, Kentaro, like, wrote this epic story and basically became this legend from writing this story. And I, I love how, you know, that's really all it took. Like, once he had, like, got traction behind this story, you know, he was basically a walking legend at a certain point up until he died now he's just a dead a past r.i.p legend you know and i'm getting caught up on that what i'm saying is at the end of the day it really kentaru it the like i don't know his ins and outs but one of the main significant things that will be remembered about him is berserk and you know I'm a writer, and so I'm writing a book, and so that kind of thought process encourages me to, like, keep going and write, because it's like, hey, man, your life could change, you know, if you really hit, if you really hit it off with an audience on a story, your whole life could change. And there's my dog being so cute in the background. Is it that right, babe? We just went on a little walk at the park, but I, uh... I truly believe that this is just one of the greatest stories ever. There's tons of imagery, symbolism, foreshadowing, um, illusion. Like, there's like literary elements. Like, this could easily be in a college class, in my opinion. I mean, this is like a really high level, high IQ level of writing here. 
Uh, there's a lot of connections, a lot of just things that are crazy about the story. And imaginative also, like, can we, like, you know, people always, uh, well, not always, but p people have said to me in the past, like, man, can you imagine J.K. Rowling's mind, like, how creative she must be to think of this whole Hogwarts, Muggles, all of it. And it's like, yeah, that's crazy. I also love Harry Potter. Um, but, but this is, uh, to me, I don't know, it's, it's weird. It's kind of like on a whole nother level. <laughs> because you start off the story, spoilers, you start off the fucking story, and it's like a medieval story. But then it turns into like some weird sci-fi shit. I've never seen anything like it. And it's all hella interesting. And that's really what I'm about. Like the dark, gruesome style I'm about. But it also has to be mysterious and ambiguous and interesting. You know, it can't just be super forthright and bloody and stupid. I, I've got to have some... There's got to be an intellectual grab as well as that dark grab for me. Um, that's just a little bit about me and my style. Uh, and what I prefer, honestly. Um, but I will say that 364, it was nuts. Um, I'm not going to make an entire video right now covering 364. Um, I'm going to wait because it's the 9th. And just see kind of what goes on and what happens and stuff. And I'll make another video soon. But what I did want to talk about at the end of this video is kind of this theory that I had. And I just wanted to pitch it and just maybe get feedback on it in the comment section. And if it's really good and it, the theory is still applicable after you know a couple days goes by, I'm going to make a video diving into the theory full on. But, uh, so basically, um, just to introduce the theory here at the end of this video, uh, no biggie if you don't make it all the way at the end, is, um, I've always had this theory that when, okay, so Skull Knight comes up to Guts at one point in the story, and, uh, I'm sure all the, like, hardcore fans know that he tells them, like, you know, once Katsuka gets her memories back and stuff like that, she may not have the same desires or wishes or dreams as you, essentially. Like, you guys might not see eye to eye on everything just because she has her memory back. And I kind of interpreted that, honestly, like, I kind of interpreted that immediately as this. Which is that, is it possible that once Katsuka gets her memory back, at the time I was like, if that happens, if she gets her memory back, will she actually, despite everything want to stop Guts from killing Griffith for some reason. And for the longest time, I thought that. Right? But now things have changed. Okay? Now I think Casca is going to do everything to stop Guts from killing Griffith because Griffith is the Moonlight Child. I thought this theory from day one, now it's just getting brought home. Like, this is really what I think. Like, Casca, I think she, I think it's impossible, logically, to say she would, like, love Griffith more at this point, because obviously she would love Guts more. Like, she even, like, is, like, recogn... At one point in the manga, she recognizes, like, how much Guts has done and stuff and how much it meant to her and all that. So, like, she's strongly in love with Guts. I'm not questioning that. Uh, I don't really think it's, like, a love triangle anymore like it was maybe in the Golden Arc. I think you could make that argument. It just was a love triangle then. But w what I do think is that, yeah, is that since it's her child, she's going to stop. She's going to have to try and stop Guts. And then, this begs another question. Like, okay, so let's assume, hypothetically I'm right, will Guts be able to stop himself in the Berserk armor in this situation that could possibly arise? So if the situation arises, 
And then Guts is in his berserk armor and knows that he's about to fight Femto. Because he knows who Griffith is. Like. And he's weak without it. They're showing him weak without the armor. And how he needs it. And he can't hit the apple and like see that well. Yes, I have a tooth missing. I need a, I need money for a fucking veneer. So, like and subscribe. But my whole thing is, is he's weak without the armor and shit. So, could he go crazy and potentially try to kill Griffith and then Casca try to stop him and then maybe hurt Casca again? Like he has already in the past. You know, maybe it's foreshadowing that shit. I'm just like figuring this out as I'm saying it. But like, this is a crazy theory that I've always thought. And it just keeps getting like backed up by Kentaro's like writings and stuff. And the plot, the direction of the plot backs up my theory. I think logically. Um, I would love for somebody to come in here and fucking roast me. Just be like... <laughs> bitch this is why you the most illogical dumbass stupid like i need somebody to come in here and please tell me why i'm so fucking dumb and wrong but i think i'm on to some shit so thank you guys um you know i love berserk and if you're in the community i love you too just because of that that just because you like the same story it's just like that um Shout out to Real Life Ryan. Uh, he does similar content um, to what I'm doing right now, but he does it better. And uh, you guys should check him out too and like and subscribe him. So yeah, shout out to him, but I will make another video. Peace.